Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Not So Super Fan. So once again, today we got to talk about these toxic fandom. Um, so Rotten Tomato had to disable comments on their site, and the score for Captain, the Rotten Tomato score for Captain Marvel is at a whopping twenty percent, and that's not due to critics. That's due to trolls. I'm gonna repeat myself, trolls. People are gonna say, oh yeah, he's a, a Marvel fan. No, I'm a comic fan, first of all. I love movies, whatever matter what it is, but this is all trolls. People who haven't even seen the movies going in there, because Ryan Tomato give you that ability to go in there and comment without seeing the movie, and there's a bunch of people going in there and they're commenting without even seeing the movies there and giving the movie a low score. Just because they didn't like what Brie Larson said, quote unquote, because some of them, then bother reading the article once again or they heard from a youtuber who made a video who's complaining about Brie Larson or they just read a quoting a article quoting her and they never bother doing their own research find out the basis of it you know calling her a racist comparing her to a not Nazi and I've seen some of these people ma making comments about her you know on YouTube and stuff and it's like calling her a racist it's like whoa hold up hold up do you know what racism is? Have you ever experienced racism? And you know, do you know what social injustice is? But none of these people know. They never experienced it. So they are, I, I don't think they should be commenting about it they, when they had, don't have no understanding what real racism is or social injustice is. And what Brie Larson wants and is trying to do is get equal opportunity for women and women of color of all races when it comes to interviewing and doing reviews on movies. But these dumbasses want to go based off something they heard and just comment. And you know, even um, the whole Captain Marvel name, you know, Zachary Levi had to go online and defend her. You know, they're talking about, oh, people are calling her a fake Captain Marvel, she stole the name, oh, first of all. The whole Captain Marvel thing, it has nothing to do with Brie Larson. She did not steal the name. It, it, it's, it's a whole history behind the name. All right? Yes, uh, Shazam original name was Captain Marvel. Then Disney acquired the rights to that name. But it wasn't due to Brie Larson stealing the name. All right? Do your own research. And it's just sad, once again, that these people think they know what racism is. And... Brie Larson even went and said she never said she hated white men, but people still don't don't pay attention to that. It's just based of what they hear or somebody they follow. Don't be a follower, man. Do your own research. Like, look it up. Find out what happened. If you hear somebody say something, find out what happened. Go. There was this an article about it. I just said and. I'm gonna watch the movie. You know, a lot of people are hoping this movie fell. I'm gonna watch it. Me and my 19 of my friends are gonna go watch this movie, and it's not gonna fail. A lot of people, were, I think, a lot of people are doing the same thing for Black Panther. They're talking about, oh, they said white people can't go watch it. We never said that. No black people ever said that. People, eh, nobody eh, could go watch Black Panther. But some people were boycotting Black Panther. Matter of fact, then there's video of it. You know, people were boycotting Black Panther. But look what happened. It made a billion dollars. So, my thoughts is, people, do your own research, all right? Don't go based off of what somebody said, because at the end of the day, you will lose out. You end up being the idiot, and she never said she was a racist, you know? I'm all for women, equal rights, you know? I don't care if you're white, black, Hispanic, Asian. I'm all for equal rights, equal opportunity. And I guess some of these people are not. And some of these people are women, too. That's the sad part. Um, guys, this is it. Uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. You know, um, do you have any thought about what Brie Larson said or what these people are saying about her, or you just don't care? You're gonna watch the movie. Leave a comment down below, and I will be getting back at you with more reviews and reactions.